good to see you. First of all, congratulations, and uh, what an amazing thing. Nominated for an Emmy, and, and congratulations on all the success on the show. Because you started as a guest star, and yeah. now you're a regular on the show. Yeah. And, it, and it's a great role. I mean, your kids have to be like, my dad's on Glee. Your kids must be so proud of you. Yeah, well, uh, they're proud when I get up and make them breakfast in the morning. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and uh, when I hang out with them when they're doing anything. So, But it's been really great. I mean, I, and I think one of the wonderful things about it is that as an actor, and you know this, you're just hoping for a role where you can show some of what you've been working on for many years. And I think in this show, you know, Ryan Murphy, who created it and is writing it with Brad Falchek and Ian Brennan, they just have given me such a great character and the words are so great. And then to act opposite of, of Corey and Chris on the show, it's, they're just such great actors and just the material is, it's just been awesome. It, it is, really... it's, a, it's so, it's so uh, multi-layered and uh, the show is, is good in so many ways. And uh, the, the character that you're this blue collar dad and so uh, just unconditionally loves his son is such a great positive thing for people to be watching on television. I wish we had more of that on television. Yeah. We, we can Thanks. see that. That's a... Well, I, I think that, you know, I think that what's interesting is that here is this guy who lives in Ohio and seems uh, to be someone who would be stereotypically intolerant of his son coming out uh, when, in fact, he loves his son more than anything. And I think that that's a real example for parents who, parents and kids, is that they have so much in common. They love one another. They're of the same blood. They, they care about one another. And the more that you can just focus on what you have in common than in what uh, you have that, that, that's different, the better. And right. I also think that, you know, that there's an example that, of course, you set in your own life that I, I'm sure that a guy like uh, Bert Hummel is paying attention to out in Ohio. And I think more people have the courage to come out and say, this is who I am, and, and for people to embrace that, it's easier for other people to be more tolerant. I just think that's the way it is. Yeah. So credit to you. Yeah. I wish more people could do it. Yeah. I wish they would. Um, thank you very much. And now, the last we saw, you, you ha your character had a heart attack, yes. and uh, <laughs> what's happening with that? Well, I, I'm improving a little bit. Yeah. The, the scary thing about doing that episode is when I showed up, you know, usually you spend some time in um, hair and makeup. I usually spend very little time in both hair and makeup. <laughs> but, uh, but I had gone there, and I said, all right, I'm ready to shoot this scene. And I was in the hospital bed after I had a heart attack, and they said, no, nope, you're good to go. Just, uh, you don't need any makeup. And I was like, wait a second, what do you, what do you mean I'm good to go? And they're like... Yeah, you look, you, you look fine. You'll just get in the bed. You look uh, just fine. I was like, I, I'm good. You mean I look bad in real life? Like I'm walking around like I had, look, right. like I'm looking like I had a heart attack? I was like, don't you need to put dark circles under my eyes? Right. No, you're good. I'm like, uh, I don't feel good. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's horrible. But, but you, are you really uh, in, in shape and in, in life? Like you take care of yourself? And, oh, yeah, you... I think you can tell that. I think your audience can tell yeah, that. Yeah. I work out quite a bit. You do. One of the great things about being on Glee is, and it, it, people really respond to it, and they'll come up to you in person and say, hey, you know, this show has meant a lot to me. And I was actually in the gym not long ago, and a guy came up and he said, hey, I just want to say, on behalf of the entire gay community, um, just this show has meant, you know, a lot to a lot of people, and you should know that. And first I was like, holy smokes, this guy knows the entire gay community. Yes. You know? <laughs> I, my understanding it, you know, 3% yeah. of the nation, that's yeah. like, that's a lot of people. Uh. <laughs> uh, but he knows them all. Uh -huh. But I mean, but, uh, but, you know, that's what's great. And, you know, to be able to take, you know, I'm, I'm, people always say, what's it like to work on the show? And that must be fun. And I say, no, I'm always in the basement and someone's crying or getting yelled at. I mean, <laughs> usually people are singing and dancing. I want to be singing and dancing on Glee. I think your audience wants to see me singing and dancing on Glee. I would like Glee to see too. it. Okay, let's All do it. All right. Thank you so much, Mike, for being here. Glee airs Tuesdays at 8 on Fox. We'll be right back. Thanks so much, Michael. Thanks,